It starts with I don't know why it doesn't even matter how hard you try Keep What up guys Lord Wolf of Chaos and we're here with Bleach Oh my god Last episode we saw Head Captain go ham Now we've never seen Bonkai from Head Captain But we now understand why he that boy just couldn't use Bonkai that shit was crazy, like, you know, uh, I know they referenced it in some ways where it was like, you know, his Wonkai is ridiculously powerful, and it fucking is, like, and it's cool, because, like, uh, somebody once said, like, you know how somebody's OP when their weapon just gets smaller? So it's like, Ichigo has this big Zambakuto, he goes Bonkai, and it's like this small sword, you know, which, like, I think Byakuya commented when they first fought the original way, like, in the original um, show, like, you know, that small thing is a Bonkai, like, but, you know, Head Captain's Bonkai is just, like, a, a like, it's a seared up sword, which then the heat resonating off his Bonkai evaporates all of the water in Soul Society, where he can't even stay Bonkai for too long because he would literally destroy everything. Fucking amazing, right? And then, uh, man, head Quincy Captain had to pull a Aizen. On top of the fact that he went to the we saw Aizen. Like, that shit was so, like, you know what I mean? Because, you know, Aizen can't die, so they have that man in prison. And then Aizen's like, I refuse. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Aizen's like, hey, you're, <laughs> what did he say? I, 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 to, to, for the Quincy King to follow in the step of the Soul Reaper, like, Aizen still like that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a threat where it's like the new bad guy got to like, you know? And he said it'd be too much of a hassle to like take him out. Like, I'm just going to leave you there. Because killing you would take too long. Restrain you. Nah, I'm good. Which Aizen's like, you know, wise decision. And I'm like, yeah, well, like fucking Aizen, bro. But that shit was crazy. He called head captain Yamamoto with the pump fake. Then stole his Bonkai. Then, you know, uh, he clapped him. So, you know what I mean? Like, head captain got clapped. Like, yo. And, like, so we never seen head captain fight fight because, like, he never really had to. But, like, my man turned up. Like, he lost the arm. You couldn't even tell. Couldn't, he didn't care. But, yo, head captain got clapped. Like, this shit looking crazy. Easy go need to hurry up. I don't know. So, man, without further ado, we're going to take a look into this right about now. Oh, they're showing us a flashback. That shit look tough. Kuriya <laughs> He really got clapped. この王さとはいえ、死する様は哀れなものだな。山本茂国。くだらぬ。山本茂国。半端者よ。私がなぜ5人の突起戦力から貴様を外したか。え、左腕を直さなかった。あの人間の女に命じれば直すことはできた。当初の豪邸13体は豪邸とは名ばかりの殺伐とした
いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、い
Soul Reaper, Quincy. You know what I mean? Like, my son born in the dark. So, that shit is crazy. Uh, I think they're alluding, well, to the fact that um, that is his grandfather, potentially. That, you know, his mom is his daughter, so the head of the Quincy's is his grandfather. Which, if guys paid attention, right? Ichigo Zanbakuto Zengetsu, old man Zengetsu, looks like who? He resembles the Quincy. So it's like, you know, I'm not sure if when Ichigo got his Zanbakuto restored that, you know, he's still able to speak to uh, old man Zengetsu since when he did the final Getchina Tensho with um, uh, Aizen. That, you know, he lost his techniques, but then the head captain restored it. So, fucking head captain, man. Just to see a glimpse of head captain in his prime. The you know, the old 13 guard, they were fucking savages. I would love to see, like, a side movie with just them fighting another threat. And then, like, you know, lead to the Quincy's or whatever. Or just seeing them beat the Quincy's. That would be a cool side arc. Like, because fucking, What? And then there's only, like, two captains or three captains left over from that. It was head captain, I think the scientist, and uh, the girl. I forget her name, but the peaceful one, who wasn't always peaceful. So, oh, man, this shit is fire, bro. I wasn't expecting Ichigo to go to go hand-in-hand with the head Quincy just like that. But then Byakuya, like, is can can he be saved? Like, Odahime is, like, right behind him, no? Like, yo, like... Byakuya and Head Captain in the same episode, man. Uh, he was, like, low-key one of my favorite captains, like, like, because he was, like, the honorable captain slash, like, you know. Leader with Ichigo with his dying breath, I'm like, that shit got me tight, man. Episode. And still, like, he altered, like, the head Quincy's abilities or senses just by, like, their conversation and looking at him. Like, he's still clutch. Like, he's a dangerous man. My man's locked up in a jail cell putting in that work, yo. Shout out to my man, Eisen, yo. I don't know if he gets released and helps, but... Man, let my man out on parole at this point. My man Eisen was doing his thing, man. That man just looked into his eyes and altered his senses. Like homeboy said, we should have more time. But that was a great episode. I can't wait for next week. I'm I am mad that I gotta wait. But shout out to bringing us back, man. That's all I have for today, man. That shit was awesome.